And we think it's going to go Collingwood's way, Spud. What did you see? Uh, off the ball, I think Jay King's in a little bit of trouble. Didac is bent over. Now, whether I think it might have been just a midriff scenario. He won the guts, it was. Yeah, it was just a little bit of a uppercut to the uh, fourth rib. Took a bit of oxygen out, out of the lungs. Well, we, we knew this was going to happen. We preempted it pre-game. So, Alan Didac's got it under control. He doesn't oh. look too phased. Oh, but have a look at the push-up, though. He's in his face saying there's more of that. Been reported, Jake King. Coming yeah. your Alan way. Been reported, Didac will get a free, so the ball won't go back to the middle after the dick goal. It'll go to Didac, who was right on the point of the square at half forward, 60 metres out. Very impressive, Alan Didac, in this. Very, very impressive. He has not... He's not been ruffled or phased. He's just let the rest of them uh, have the push and shove. He's gone back, stood on the mark. Very cool, very calm. Look at this. We're waiting for the broadcast to yeah, replay it. So it was very good from Brad Dick too, boys. He he came in and showed a lot of support for a youngster. Nick Moldau's to be wrapped with it. Didac plays on. They try and get him in a uh, a shepherd arrangement back to back. Oh, look at the Collingwood boys oh, tackling. Oh, look at the Collingwood oh, boys. Oh, King. They're in there. They're trying him all of them. <laughs> Do a push up with them on top of you, Jakey. It's a group drawing, and Jake is being pounded into. Well, Everyone in the ground's in the fight here. And the ball footy's still going, Brian. They've called and, play on. It's and, bouncing and around in the middle of it all. There's 15. In a, Fight's going on. Well, Richmond could do worse and stir things up a bit, Brian. I'll tell you what, Nick Moldau's been a little bit worried, boys. The last thing he needs is a couple of suspensions leading into the finals. Oh, look at Jake's jumper. Now, uh, Collingwood have got to show more composure now. They've got the ball. It's hanging on by a shred, Jake's jumper. Kick out in front of Tambling and Thomas. Thomas takes it over well, the top to Beams. Well, all the players be stuffed now. There's nothing worse than having a wrestle for two minutes. You'd know, Spud. You would, your legs would be gone, the lactic, you'd be just breathing, you'd need another lung at the moment. Uh, I would tell you what, if you're a Richmond supporter, now you might start to think your boys care a bit. At least they had a bit of a crack and they stirred it up a bit. Pendlebury out on his own, Cousins will close him down, Doc, for the Toyota Prius. That's all happening at the boundary, isn't it? Uh, standing ovation for Jake King in front of the uh, Richmond faithful, Alan Didak, uh, just on the phone, getting settled down, probably telling him he did a good job, uh, I would think. Uh, Colling would handle it beautifully, don't worry about yeah. that. They no. are absolutely in control, they waited for the play and they tried to yep. set it up so they cleaned him up. <laughs> Didn't give away a free. They no. missed, <laughs> and then they waited for it in play and they went after it. They did indeed, and little Ray Chamberlain, emergency umpire, got out there quick as well. The umpire here last night as Bowden punches that one to the line and we'll have a throw in half forward for the uh, Collingwood side and it's 9-9-63 Collingwood to Richmond 2-2-14 McDonald scoreboard that is the sort of stuff we like though Bristol from the push up when Jake oh, King yes. actually got the ball he's at ground level he thought I'm in a little bit of trouble here yeah, he yeah. had five Collingwood players that jumped on the back of him and it was amazing footage. Wellingham. Wellingham marks. A couple of nice jumper punches there from uh, the Richmond player. Okay.